Welcome back folks, another beautiful day here with Growing Everything Green. Today I have another awesome video for you guys. Everybody doesn't definitely want to miss out on this one. So if you're having trouble with pests around your garden, this is going to be a really beneficial video for yourself. Today, we finally got our pack package here in the mail full of green lace wig eggs. I was looking through the package here and I do see, let's see if you guys could see here. Oh, he went back to hide. But our green lace wigs are already hatching. Oh, look it. There's a tiny one right there. You guys might see, it's going back to its little house. But yeah, you guys, this is gonna be a really, really beneficial insect to our garden. Right here it says green lace wigs are well camouflaged and are usually well hidden. Healthy plants with new growth are a good sign that green lace wigs are working. So these green lace wigs are gonna really, really take care of a lot of our pests we're having here. Let's see. Nature's good guy, AK soldier bug. Green lace wigs are effective general predator in wide range of growing temperatures and humidity. Green lace wigs can be used indoors or outdoors in orchards, nurseries, greenhouses, gardens, grow rooms, hydroponics, or anywhere pests exist. Green lace wigs do not migrate, those making them the best dollar value. And it says right here that we wanna applicate these one to five insects per square a planted area okay so i'm really gonna disperse of these insects all over the garden so that's what i want to bring you guys along here today and check out this is the company that we got our green lace wigs they have a whole different variety of beneficial pests uh well not pests beneficial insects to your garden that are gonna take care of pests as you guys can see there's a whole bunch of different ones there's ladybugs there's a green lace wigs there's just a whole bunch of different insects and these are really gonna so once we release these it's really gonna take care of aphids mill bugs spider mites thrips and other soft body tissue bugs well let's get to application and this video might be really short not really sure we're just basically gonna lay these on there and we're gonna start seeing them go to work you guys and these insects right here uh, they did cost me about 20 to 25 dollars so they're not really that bad at all and they are beneficial pests i mean beneficial insects to our garden they are not pests they're really going to take care of a lot of the problems that we're having here so let's get right to work well folks as you guys can see right here we've been we have a lot of white stuff all over this don't worry about that that's a lot of the ashes but we do have some leaves that have been getting infested here throughout the days with i'm assuming a whole bunch of different little pests that like to target our plants let me see if i can find you guys a leaf here let me see where did i see one okay here's a leaf here you see that right there that's uh, some kind of form of infestation that's happening around here but today we're gonna take care of that problem well let's get right to work so as you guys can see we have all of our lace wigs in here and they do come with these awesome little bugs i mean uh, bags here pardon my speech you guys i am getting bit by ants uh, where i'm standing so bear with me so we are basically just gonna tie these on somewhere on the plant where it's gonna be beneficial to them. So here's another area here. Let's see, let me pull out these leaves, but I'm gonna show you guys what's going on here. See, I don't like to keep nothing from my, from my growers. I like to show you guys my good things that happen around here and also my bad things that happen around here. So that's how my channel Stounds out from the rest. Usually, most people show you their their positive things that are going down in their garden. But me, as being as humbled as I can and as clear as I can, I'm gonna show you 
exactly what I deal with on a yearly basis. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and open this little baggie just a bit. And let's see, I'm gonna put it right here for now on this stick. Let's put it on there real quick, but I'm not gonna leave it there. I'm actually gonna go, let's see, where, where are we gonna target? I'm gonna go ahead and target. Hope you guys can see down here. This is where I'm gonna put my first, my first bag. This plant was originally not intended to, to be a main project at all whatsoever, but I am going to use it since it is doing quite well. And we are gonna receive some beautiful flowers from this. Okay, simple as that. We opened up our baggie there. As you guys can see, it's nice and open. Man, it smells amazing. I'm really, really enjoying this beautiful weather that we're having. Recently, we're already cooling down and just feeling a whole lot better. It's been really unbearable here. I'm gonna get this huge leaf that also seems to be getting some signs of infestation. As you guys can see, put that out the way, but with our green lace wigs. As you guys can see, let me see if I can get this guy open. Oh, poor little guy, I think one of them died. That's okay, you guys. a good little shake and we're gonna start actually filling up our little bag here okay awesome so it looks like we did get a good amount in there and I'm just gonna spread these throughout the garden you guys let's move on to the next spot as you guys can see we are doing Pretty awesome with the girls back here. This is the main girl this year. Take a little peek in there into those beautiful nugs. I do spot a leaf here. It's already getting some damage. Right there, you guys. But we're gonna help out these plants by putting these beneficial insects into their home so they can go right to work. So right here, you guys, we're going to basically do the same thing that we're doing over there. There's a nice little branch there, but I'm still going to put a tie on it. And we're going to pop our bag open. really do want to encourage you guys to get these beneficial insects ahead of time. Pour a good amount in there. Put a little bit more. Okay, awesome. So as you guys can see, we did put our bag right there and it's all ready. I did drop a little bit around there but it doesn't say anywhere in the packaging that you cannot spread them around I actually did see some people spreading these insects around specifically on their branches and you guys look at them trying to infest our beauties here something you want to avoid so I have this package came with three bags. I'm just gonna simply make some more right now. I'm gonna spread them all around these plants. These are my main concern and this is what we wanna worry about. Okay, so I'm gonna put another, another zip tie right there. Set it 
down in there and pour some more of these things out. I do want to remind you guys there is a lot of eggs here that are going to hatch with time and try to put them somewhere more shaded so they stand a better chance at doing something let me move around here the plant just a bit here's another look here on my garden the baby grows from this year so i'm gonna basically put another one on this side Right now, I'm already making my own bag. All these eggs, you guys, they're going to eventually hatch and get right to work. Okay. So I'm going to try this here. We're going to do a little bit direct on. These little soldier bugs are really going to start taking care of our problems around here. bunch of little eggs in here still we're just gonna dump them out you guys on top of these plants and they will eventually hatch and go right to work well folks that's pretty much it i want to show you guys how to spread these lace wigs around and get them to work so they're all the ones that are already hatched they're eventually going to start going to work and the other ones that haven't Are gonna take a little bit longer but let's see if we could get these guys on there because there's still some in here i see them crawling around maybe i should leave this bag here i'm also going to use this bag here tied the end to this i'm actually gonna put this one over here because there is some eggs and some live ones already here so i'm gonna stick these ones down here there is a thousand eggs in here folks so that should be more than enough to start showing some positive impact on these plants well I'll keep you guys updated as we go. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to all my videos here. And hit that bell for notifications. That way you're informed every time I post a new video. Well, happy growing with Growing Everything Green. I'll catch you guys on the next one.